Hey Blue Table fans, do you like blue? I know I do, and you're gonna love this army. This is a Trollblood's army, and for a war machine, guy, how many figures are in here? 10, 20, 34, maybe 80, and some of them very substantive. So, uh, wow, where to even start with this? It's, um, I mean, this is huge for a privateer press army. It is absolutely, absolutely amazing okay well uh let's just uh take a take a look here you've got uh the two versions of gristle here who is uh, a really fun war caster the trollbloods have like these bards that go around and tell tales and visit the different creels or villages and um so i uh, got some fin blades here and uh some dire trolls in the back Looking pretty good. Uh, Pyre Troll. I do believe this is a new sculpt. So a couple of um, uh, Spear Trolls. Oh my gosh. Um, Earthborn. Got some higher level figs here. This is like a Gypsy Troll. That's uh, one of the war casters that they have. And uh, then this war cart thing. It has these buffalo on it, which I think are really cool. You don't see buffalo too often uh, in the fantasy genre. So uh, Night Troll, that guy's new. A couple of Mountain Kings here. These things are pretty huge. And now what's funny is you'd think this giant figure would, would in terms of points, cost notably more than this other one. And uh, it doesn't. Uh, they just cost, uh, you know, this guy's probably 11 points and this guy might be something like, something like 15, 14 or 15. Uh, but the models really, really, really are amazingly cool, and it makes sure that the game is not unbalanced, uh, which is something I have to, I have to really compliment Privateer Press on that because they, uh, they definitely make a game that uh, has, um, ha has, has a good uh, playability factor to it. So I definitely uh, highly recommend the War Machine universe, and uh, thanks for tuning in, and I hope you got your inspiration for the day. P.S. All of these guys, these are all magnetized. So, um, yeah, so they, they can be the three different variants. And that's kind of like the uh, modus operandi for Privateer Press, is that uh, each of their new plastic kits makes like three different uh, variants. And we, we can magnetize all of those. Okay, can't quite get that on just right with, uh, with one hand. But uh, it does go on like that. In fact, uh, here's the... Um, in fact, let me get that other back on here. All right. Okay, again, not going on quite straight because I just have one hand to deal with it. So uh, the gunner goes on, there he, there he goes. Yep, just a nice light little magnet and it changes it into something different. Okay, thanks for tuning in, folks.